In this tutorial, we will show you how to output ACF repeater field in a table format using the repeater table widget for Elementor. Let's get started. First, make sure the Unlimited Elements Pro version is installed and activated on your WordPress site. Then, head over to Unlimited Elements, widgets and use the search bar to find repeater table. Hover over it and click install to add the widget to your site. Before we begin, we need to create the repeater field in advanced custom fields ACF. Go to ACF field groups. Create a new field group if one hasn't been created yet. I will add a new repeater field to an existing field group. Add a new field. Select the field type as repeater. Enter the field label and field name. Be sure to remember the field name as we'll use it later in the repeater table widget. Next, add the required subfields as we will output their data later. In the settings options, select the desired post type and save your changes. Now, let's add data to the repeater field for the desired post. Navigate to the selected post type and either add or edit the post. Then, add the required data for the subfields you want to display using the repeater table widget. Next, go to the page you want to edit and drag and drop the repeater table widget from the widgets pane onto your Elementor canvas. Set the repeater source as meta fields, JSON or CSV, or Google Sheets. For this tutorial, we'll use the meta fields option. In the ACF field name, enter the same field name you used for the ACF repeater field. Then, select the ACF field location as Select Post and choose the post where the ACF repeater field data is stored. You can also specify the number of columns to display from the connected repeater table. In the general settings, enable filtering to allow data filtering options. Enter the title for the filter dropdown. Specify the placeholder text for the filter. Enable pagination if necessary. Similarly, enable sorting if required. Now, let's add columns to output the ACF repeater field data. Enter the column title. Select the mode either basic or advanced. Enter the column field name, ensuring it matches the subfield column name in the repeater field. Let's quickly add the second column and its data. Once you've added the content, you can start configuring the widget style settings to match your design needs. Adjust the table head's padding, background color, border width, search button background color, typography, and more to ensure the repeater table widget seamlessly integrates with your website's design. To wrap up the video, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome tutorials. Start using unlimited elements and give your Elementor website superpowers. We can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for joining us and see you next time.